hey, before we get too far into the video, I want to explain that the Tone Traveler note page is based on a system called Scientific Pitch Notation. Um, there'll be more info on that down in the description below this video, but I'll try and go over a little bit of the basics. So here's a quick diagram of a piano with these numbers above and below the keys, and those numbers represent the octaves of scientific pitch notation. It also represents the numbers next to the note names on the note page of your tone traveler. And as these keys kind of scroll by, you'll see they're in the fourth octave, middle C in kind of turquoise, and uh, A440 in yellow. And as I explain the note page in the video to come, you'll notice that I use these numbers from this diagram here to kind of give context of which octave uh, we're in. So uh, you, you'll see that as the video goes by, but I just figured I would give a little bit of background before we get into the video. Hey folks, this is Isaac with Dr. Herringbone. We've had a lot of questions about our note page, which, you know, when you open up your tablet, you'll be on this guitar page. It's just this last tab on the right here. And uh, people are wondering, you know, what, what are these numbers of the octaves correspond to? And uh, it's just that. So each number is a different octave. Like uh, in the case of a guitar, the root note of a low E string on a guitar is an E2. And you'll notice that a lot of times when you pick out the root notes for your instrument, doesn't seem, it seems almost like an octave too low. And that is because the root notes of the instruments that we hear are oftentimes not actually the loudest pitch generated by the string. They're just the lowest note. Uh, so a lot of times if you add in the E3, now you start to get something more similar to a guitar tone, but the root note of a low E string on a guitar is E. The A string would be an A2, because it's the next A up. It's a uh, fourth up. And then the D note would be D3. The G note would be G3. B note would be B3. And then the next E up would be E4. And so these six notes would be the six notes of your guitar. A mandolin starts with a G3. For its lowest note. And then the next string on a mandolin would be D4. And then the next string up from a mandolin would be a A4 and then an E5. Those are your four notes for mandolin. And you can also do things like, like if you wanted to play an open G chord on a guitar, you know your low string is an E2. The next note up from that in the G chord is the G2. So you play that, and then the next note up in a G chord on a guitar is a B2. And then would be D3, G3, and then you could pick either to do B3 or D4. I'm going to do D4, and then the next G. And now you've got an open G chord. You could do the same thing with a D chord. Um, you would just find your open D string, which is a D3, and then the next note up would be, let me think here, it would be an A3 and then a D, and then F sharp four. And those are the notes of your D chord. And you can really do this, it's it's more of a tool, it's, be, you know, it's best to use your ear, but you can actually look up which of these notes correspond to which strings of your instrument. Um, one of our favorite settings is the E2 and F2 combination, which creates a pulsing frequency because they're a half step apart and they're adding and subtracting from each other the sine waves are and it really moves the guitar it's really cool to see try out the e2 f2 thing say so be careful on some uh, guitars with large cracks in the tops and stuff like that because you know vintage and damaged instruments are delicate but for the most part you'll be fine and uh yeah so for the most part if you a lot of times wikipedia will list the root notes of your instrument if you have an instrument other than the ones I've gone over here. Um, so use Wikipedia and you can find the note listings for your instrument or just use your ear and do what sounds best for you. Like I said, this is this is a tool designed to allow you to create what you want to hear. 
the note page is for that. We've done a lot of the math and a lot of the thinking for you on pages like the guitar page where we've actually measured overtones and plotted them out for you. Um, same thing with the mando, bowed, and banjo page. Those are our readings of instruments, uh, famous instruments, and then we try to match the harmonic series of those instruments on each string as best we can. Um, and that's why these results are what they are. All right. Thanks, folks. Hope this helps.